in this room, exactly where I see it, 2015, the first one who studied it, holding a laptop in front of him, browsing the internet, The first one, what I'm about to demonstrate to you, was a neighbor, Andre Ull. Just two houses away from here, from this house here. Two houses away, 2015, the first one who was doing this stuff was Andre Ull. Two houses away from here. What is it about? I see here that um, yeah. psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polia. I, I don't know how exactly I would, uh, by the court, authorize. Um, not exactly a witness, but sort of an uh, investigator. <laughs> um, General Director of the Psychiatric Hospital, Ljubljana Polje, got a letter of warning. I see this here, it's it's a media author, it's called a Novo Mesto, uh, excuse me, it's called Slovenske Novice. It's some kind of a disciplinary procedure against him, uh, there is some kind of, uh, this is the guy who was involved, Boyan Zalar, yes? His mother, his entire family was involved in this. Back in the day, when I was still at the kindergarten, when he was, still would go and study, still was a student. I am not going to go into this stuff. He got a warning or some, some kind of a written warning. He's going to get another one right now. This is what this is all about. It's not going to be that this is going to be a warning issue to this particular guy because it's something I'm going to use to incarcerate a lot of people with. The first thing I'm going to enter inside of the Search engine, just like Andre Ull did, a neighbor Andre Ull did in 2015, in Slovenian language is going to be, is going to state how to get yourself a physician. And then you get here, what I already have gone through, you get Choice replacement of personal physician. This is provided by Zavod Zdravstven Zavrovani Slovenia. What that means is it's an institution providing insurance, health insurance, I should say, for Slovenia. You would go through to get information, and they're also the one that handle all this. Even if you have a private insurance, whatever it is that you have, or employer covers up, uh, these are the rules that are outlined in Slovenia as far as everything that concerns not only public, but also private health care. Uh, private clinics grow through this. Zavodz mm, Zdravstven Zavarani Slovenia institution, state institution, uh, for a health care. So, how to get a physician? How to get a physician? And Andre Ull read it here. And interpreted, not translated, but interpreted to whatever he wanted to interpret. And I don't really know what happened why he didn't come out clean about it wherever he was he was stating was very blurry um practically he claimed me that i would not have ability to even visit a 
physician from whom I would request a medical assistance in respect to the future medical problems I would have to deal with. Andre Wall did not know how things are going to still turn, uh, in which direction I will go, and how things are going to turn. I did not know either. But given that I was throughout entire Europe, and somehow road have taken me through, in 2017, through Slovakia to Poland, from western part of Slovakia to eastern part of Slovakia, where I proceeded to with Poland, um, it was really, really beneficial. However, stuff I will be talking to you about in this very video remained with me, more so because of anger in me, not because I would fear to visit a physician, uh, because I would fear to visit a request a medical assistance, but because of the anger, because of the resentment, because of the same reason I did not even involve Slovenian police in it, till I actually sent complaint out. What is, however, important to notice, this is very, very important to notice. What is, however, very important to notice is that this news was involved in MK Ultra, and it was stated to me that I should not, in fact, visit a personal physician till this individual is thrown out of the psychiatric institution of Ljubljana Polje. This was involved in MK Ultra, and Slovenian media, or I should say Slovenian prosecutor that are handling this case, are not doing this on my behalf to help me out, but they are actually terrorizing me with idea to keep me away as far as possible from the personal physician, which is way overdue, but still. With something I already have explained, right? You can't go to physician till this guy is out. This was a constant brainwash. Don't go to physician till we get this guy out. Yeah? Uh, no. Uh, reality is this gangster, this criminal works together with the prosecutors and with the police. This is the gangster, their work. It's all coordinated with one another. And these people actually believe they still have some kind of credential, something, some kind of credentials that will keep me away from the physician. Other than what I stated earlier. So let's go back here and we're gonna concern ourselves with the stuff here on how did Slovenian government wrote what you see here um, as a, a guidelines, in this case, for my personal rights, or basically rights of every person uh, in Slovenia. Yes? Um, they suggested me that this is a copy-paste from the European uh, Union member states that basically this is how they have it all over the Europe. And it was, they even insisted me that sometimes in, I think the year was probably 2016 or something like this. Uh, they suggested that there were some kind of a changes that they have to implement, that they're gonna change the law, that they're gonna alter replace the existing law with a new law to make sure that I would not have a chance to go to position. Whether that's true or not, I do not know. However, I will go and next to recording this state website will now translate to you after Andrei Ull, it was a physician, a neighbor, 
just one house away from here, right after the Miroslav Berger's house, who sit right at this place here, and have insisted me on, with a bunch of other people, such as Robert Golob, such as uh, politicians that were here, now Prime Minister Robert Golob, on how I will not have the right to visit a personal physician, as if I would have visit a personal physician, using exactly the website that you see, they did this, they sit me here next to them, and they translated and insisted, repeatedly insisted me that I should not go and visit a physician till I actually get this done in a legal way. Or if I would do this, would be institutionalized, thrown behind walls of the psychiatric institution. This is what a neighbor here, a chirurg, doctor, physician, Igor Otter, Potter, repeatedly advised me with other people. It wasn't only Andre Ull, but it was a a lot of people, they would come and they would start to browse and see this stuff. And, oh, yeah. And I'm asking, yeah. Oh, so there is a change of the law. Yeah, there is a change of the law. Uh, we're going to coordinate one also with the European Union, whatever they talked about. 2016. This shit repeated in 2017. It repeated in 2018. I was brought from Poland uh, again inside of the kitchen. Have people sit here this year, laptop. And in front of me, they would continue to orchestrate time and again this stuff. So it's time for reality. It states like this. Slovenian government website states, as for choosing a physician, you have the right to a personal physician. And I told you that what I have used so far was uh, f f physicians, or I should say medical ser healthcare services, through a department, through emergency departments. Because it was always, it was COVID and that kind of issues I dealt with, uh, that I had ability to go through emergency departments. However, I was told also that's only what you can use on three occasions. After the three occasions, uh, it's, Psychiatry. This is how I was explained this issues at. And also was advised that they would not provide detailed examinations through emergency healthcare services and would have to use even audio recorded during the visits to emergency health services. General Hospital Novo Mesto would have to go through the personal physician. So to go to the personal physician, there is a special procedure you have to follow. And these are the rules outlined on Slovenian government website for to do just that. Yeah, the right to choose, it says here, the right to choose a personal physician have all the people that are insured. My mom is paying insurance for me, the insurance which... In my entire life, the only time was used basically to throw me behind the gates of the psychiatric institution. Uh, I also used one due to what I was told was COVID issue and some other issue, heart-related issues, other issues, cancer issues, which uh, results always were dismissive. There was no, no problems whatsoever. Um, except with exception to the COVID, with exception to there was something also next to the COVID, more than COVID, they found. But anyways, all the people that, are, that do have uh, insurance, whether that be private or through the employer, they do have the right to a physician. However, The people who do possess this kind of insurance do have the right to choose in between a physician for a general medicine, a personal physician, and for the females, they can also use for the personal physician a, a gyn gyn gynecologist. Yeah, I think it's gynecologists gynecologist in English. Um, people 
that uh, a population such as prisoner, okay, then it all uh, that's outli uh, outlined under what I stated under the paragraph. Uh, people that are, however, being incarcerated according to the 22nd, um, whatever it says here, uh, 22nd paragraph of the 15th chapter uh, about law in uh, uh, healthcare and insurance, healthcare insurance, uh, those that were, that are uh, on, uh, they are facing imprisonment. They are currently serving imprisonment. Uh, they are being currently penalized, I should say. It's not necessarily prison. They have different sentences. So those are currently, I would say, uh, <clears throat> it says here, inside of the prison, uh, youngsters, uh, teenagers, whether that be also a teenagers, Uh, and it says also here, not as I stated, not necessarily imprisoned, but also could be at the Poprauni um, Dom. I don't know how you say that, but that's like a, a location for to improve yourself, basically, due to your behavior, whatever it might be. Um, it, it actually goes into the category of the prisons where my father wanted to put me uh, throughout my grammar school uh he tried to get me in there um those whom they who got varnostni ukrep obveznega psihiatričnega zdravljenja in varstva v zdravstvenem zavodu ter obvezno zdravljenje odvisnosti od alkohola in drog and they also say in, in continuation, they say those to whom the a must, obligatory or uh, forced psychiatric um, treatment, um, asylum inside of the psychiatric institution and or those that uh, are compelled to cure themselves from alcohol or drugs, they do have a limited right to a free choice of physician within the healthcare system. So, given the healthcare system, uh, what I told you already earlier would be a choice. So either choose your personal physician or a physician that would be um, a dentist or gynecologist for the for the females. Uh, these people here don't have that kind of choice. People whom I mentioned, the incarcerated people, punished people, therefore, and are actually forced whether you cure yourself from alcohol, you're inside of the psychiatric institution, uh, you do have a limited choice when it comes to your personal physician within Slovenian healthcare system. Uh, and that means basically that there is something that um, is not being written about here, and I'm going to continue with that. In other words, what they are saying is it's a different regulation that applies to the people, whether you, if you are serving a, a, a jail, incarceration, or you are inside of the psychiatric hospital, obviously, 
or you're treating yourself from drugs or you have etc cetera, etc cetera. i'm going to go over with that stuff it's but they don't specify basically they don't they don't tell um obviously that what they're implying is if you're inside of the institution uh it's where you don't have the ability to use your personal physician dentist gyne gynecologist and so on yeah so Now this is a quite long stuff here. I see that this is this is not a there is no shortcut here. Um, they tell you basically the procedure is to go to the hospital and stop by at the department for. Um, uh, yeah, I have to go over and tell the whole thing. Even Americans were involved in this stuff. Some ladies demanded from me to get this stuff translated to you. So as well as mine, I do this. I hate it, but okay. When you go to the physician, to the to the hospital, basically it's Drausten is Zavod. It could be also a private clinic, I think. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't go through the private clinic. I think that if you want to get choice for your physician, uh, it would be the best go to the General Hospital Nova Mesa and then basically to the department for uh, what I already stated earlier. Zdravnik, Sploshna Medicina, Druzhinska Medicina, Specialist Medicina, Dela Prometa, Sporta. In my case, that will be basically a department where I would always pretty much go to get, where you would go to get for the work examination or, you know, the pre-work examination, that kind of stuff they would, they would do that for the employers and stuff. Uh, and it's where you get to choose your physician. Uh, you know, they, they give you basically the choice for you to choose whom do you want for your position? That could involve also, uh, in my opinion, a private physician. They don't specify that kind of stuff. They limit here this to the age up to year 19, year of age. Uh, it's a, a personal physician. Uh, a pediatric, uh, a general school uh, uh, medicine, a specialist. Specialized on in a general uh, healthcare medicine. It says here, medicina, medicina, yeah, medicina, yeah. Uh, not medicine, no. It sounds kind of similar, but uh, healthcare, I would say. Uh, and Druzhinsky, Zdravnik uh, family, physician, basically, a good old doc, if you want to say whatever you want to, um, in English, is how you translate family doctor, whatever. Uh, this is what you're obligated up to the age 19, yeah? Now, if you're insured and older than 19 years old, uh, it can be a personal physician, specialist for uh, just as a bow, I stated also up to 19, specialist for a general health care, uh, a family doc, or a specialist in work. It says here traffic and sport. This I told you this is where you can also go and have them uh, examination done for you, which is related to the work, also to the sports. Um, I don't know what it means traffic. Oh yeah, I mean you need you need one for the traffic for the driver license and that kind of stuff. Yeah, they do have department like this at the General Hospital Novo Mesto, actually in every hospital in Slovenia like that. Yeah, so. This will be it. Uh, pretty much, uh, I don't actually even see the 
difference between 19 year of age up to 19 and after with exception to what is a, a pediatra. Now, pediatra, this is a, a basically a physician that is that does it for uh, kids and stuff like this, you know, pediatra. Um, so it's it's kind of logical up to nine, age 19, you can keep a, a pediatra, right? So um, yeah, of course, there's also here for genealogists, uh, for the females. They are referring here to some kind of exception also to the physician with, with, without even degree, with, with the pod diplomskim studium sozialne medicine. There appears they also, also have a, um, postgraduates with understudies of the social medicine, whatever that is. I don't, I actually, they had me visit somebody on, on, their, on their MP Ultra, but I never went to that kind of physician. But anyways, uh, entire General Hospital Novo Mesto was involved in it. The stuff that I stated to you about it, how I would not have the right to visit a physician, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, was repeated to me literally in front of the police at the visitations to the physicians at Novo Mesto General Hospital, where they would bring me to physicians Exactly the physicians at department where you go through emergency inside, that does make sense, right? Because you can't, if you don't have a personal physician, there's only one way you can use in case of the need. And then you have to go through emergency inside, yeah? To use the medical service, healthcare services, right? So the police made a healthy assumption that there is no other way than to use that kind of intimidation with the physicians who examine me. And if you did go over the paperwork that they gave me, it was stuff they have stressed about the schizophrenia that I had in the past and that kind of stuff. You did still have to go over on the blog. Mm. They stressed all the threats, repeated threats that I had to eat time and again during the visits to this people at the General Hospital Novo Mesto, physicians and nurses. But there was a super heavy abuse, super heavy torture that went on at the General Hospital Novo Mesto. And that torture went on for about 30 years, if not longer than that. That torture goes into my childhood. It goes into, uh, into the time when I was, a, I was a child, literally, when I would go with mom also to the General Hospital Novo Mesto. Uh, it goes straight into the childhood. No. There was no physician, actually, that was not involved in this stuff. Uh, I don't think there was a physician that was not involved in this stuff. Absolutely every physician knows me. Every, every physician knows this case. Not only the physician, but next door is a pharmacy, a uh, state pharmacy in Yugoslavia. That was the only pharmacy you would go to, and et cetera, et cetera. Heavily involved pharmacy department. Not a store, but where you will pick up the medicine in good old Yugoslavia. I don't think you would even have to pay unless you would choose your own private extra vitamins or whatever you wanted. It was all covered by a healthcare state health care. Um, so, yeah, you can also go and you can also, you have also the chance instead of a physician, uh, physician type of physicians that I stated and genealogist. Uh, so you lose a pediatrist and you get the chance also extra to substitute one with a general uh, physician, undergraduate, undergraduate, uh, uh, studies for the social medicine. Uh, uh, females get choice of also what becomes a genealogist after the age 19. Yes, that's what we are talking about. And uh, for the selected physician up to 19, you, uh, 
this I am a little bit lost here. It's kind of crazy because it doesn't fit here. It says here, selected personal physician for a period of till you complete 19 years of age is properly uh, a dentist who is also uh, properly educated, qualified, I should say, for dental care of children and youth, which I kind of find this strange. Actually, I assume that it would be exactly the dentist you would also have ability to choose once you are 19 and over. But, and it's kind of strange because this paragraph really would go here in between, you know, up to age 19, which I already have explained, and it's not. It says here, it's, it's like in addition, but all right, that's a poor choice, but okay. Uh, the personal physician, you get to choose whatever you leave. In my case, that would be in the city of the novel master. They talk something about here, I understand why the ladies wanted to have this translated to English. All right, I'm going to do it for you. If you don't get, if you don't choose a physician in your area where you live at, you won't get covered your expenses related to a travel expenses, I should say. Uh, or otherwise, obviously, you get covered them. Yeah, these are like paragraphs, like this and like that. Uh, a personal gene gen gynecologist, female, females, can choose within the public sector, general hospital or whatever there is, Rausni Dom, I don't know how you say that, hospital, <laughs> clinic, uh, between the physicians who do have in a public, in a public, yeah, in a public, or within the private health providers who do have a contract with the this is this uh, I told you this is exactly what is stated on the top. This is Yavot Zavot. Um, institution for a public healthcare in Slovenia. It's impossible to translate that it would translate word to word in English. The only difference if you would go and choose in between private and public providers, healthcare providers, is that you would have to cover for the difference. Obviously, whenever using private service, private healthcare service, right? Physician, gyne gyne gynecologist, a gynecologist, uh, who does have a contract with Z -Z -Z -Z, with public Slovenian uh, healthcare, government services, if you like, uh, the one that sets the laws, like the one I read to you here, is obligated to accept absolutely any person that would report himself to one, uh, or I should say make choice, his choice, select a physician to be his personal physician, therefore, right? So uh, they cannot say to you, no. They are obligated uh, if they do have a contract, right? And I think, uh, <laughs> Well, not necessarily. There, there is also people who don't have a contract. It's a private company. It's a possibility. I'm not familiarized with that. But I think with the people who do have deeper pockets or whatever, people who dare to risk, I think, from a private sector, uh, I suppose they do have a, a also like this. Uh, yeah, sure. It's, a, it's just reiterates here that no, anybody who with a, with a uh, with a health insurance 
nobody in Slovenia stays without a personal physician. Nobody has, I'm not going to say the right to decline uh, services. So basically what I'm saying, nobody has the right, in other words, nobody has the right to decline services to a person with insurance. Nobody in Slovenia stays without uh, physicians providing him with a services as long as you have insurance, right? Nobody stays without a personal physician as long as you do have insurance. Now, there have been, it says here, in 2019, there's been some explanation that this uh, a government subsidy received in 2019. And I don't know what it say here. They say something about 19, uh, actually 1895. Uh, I would not waste my time with that kind of stuff. Uh, this is just a this is this we don't have I, I'm not going to be wasting stuff like this I don't even understand what they are saying uh, in year 2022 it, it's it's stupid but okay It's kind of stupid. It's really kind of stupid. Um, what is this here? Obstoyechi Timi. Aha, okay. It's it's for the teams with a number of people of 1895, based on which annex. I don't understand what the hell this thing is, Glavarina and so on. I don't I don't understand any of this stuff here. I don't I don't get this. Kolichniki and Zorano Mochi and Naughty and Konabe. Uh I think they're talking about the number of the people that would be in a certain region and it's close to nineteen hundred. I it doesn't apply to me, so I'm not gonna be I don't wanna waste my time with this kind of stuff. I'm not like this, like for the locations, they're like remote locations. I think that's what it is, I would say. Uh, something related to the ambulance services, whatever. I don't understand what that is. 2022. Um, basically, none of this stuff here, I should say, applies to me in absolutely any way. Yeah. I'm going to put this stuff, um, I'm pretty much going to put this stuff under the I'm going to, I'm going to select this stuff here, so Well, it looks like to me there is mentioned something about the psychiatric uh, rehabilitation, I should say, that you would have given obligatory uh, psychiatric rehabilitation inside of the uh, psychiatric hospital, obviously inside of the, you know, this is very, very difficult to, to uh, this will be a paragraph that would apply to me. 
um, it's a it's a paragraph that states uh, not really to me. Um, it's 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 really really um, how can I say? It's not in a proper Slovenian language. Yes, it's it's done. Um, the, its its explanation is done in a such a way that if you would not have ability to understand this, you could really actually even misinterpret this. But I did uh, properly explain earlier. None of this stuff really applies to me. But this is what I'm trying to say: is this is what they wanted me to see this as a uh, my not having the right to a physician uh, it, for using a medical services, I would be uh, simply transferred to department for psychiatry. That's what they they were implying to me. Uh, it says here uh, again for the for the prisoners. For those that are serving uh, prison sentences, uh, for incarcerated youth, teenagers at the Um, not necessarily incarcerated, but inside of the home for uh, re-education, okay? Re-education would be prosgoini dom, prosgoini dom. Um, if there was varnus neukrep, I would say, uh, selected for them, through the court, obviously, yes. Court selects this kind of um, court will be the one that would outline uh, a special procedure as far as obligatory psychiatric rehabilitation um, and also uh, could be translated as asylum. Uh, varstvo. varstvo means Security, if you literally translate from Slovenian to English, varstvo uh, is like, you know, varstvo means um, forced psychiatric hospitalization is basically what that is. Um, and or those that are by the court being ordered a rehabilitation, yeah, rehabilitation is a mild word, basically, for the people who don't have the right to choose other than what I stated. Uh, and, you know, if you treat yourself from the alcohol or drugs, those are the, those that do have a limited uh, right to uh, what otherwise also applies to me, and that's that's a right to a uh, physician, to, uh, yeah, just as a general physician, uh, a, a person with, basically, with, you know, personal physician, general, phys general, general doctor, general physician, personal physician, are not uh, fit to go to gynecologist. These are the things we already uh, have discussed about. I, I don't actually have anything to say. Obviously that the people inside of our home, this actually doesn't matter. This is no fucking insurance to anybody that because what is written here, that you are not going to be liable for the crime you committed together with the physicians at the General Hospital Novo Mesto, who also during the visits to which 
novel may establish as a Slovenian police participated 100% of the time with the people that would deliver me there. In private also, not only inside of the general hospital novel maestro in other locations, but even in private. Physicians, you know, they also have like a private little clinics here. They, I was told the same thing from the physicians. Uh, basically, I mean, let me explain to you something about this, yes, because this is really for the court purposes. Uh, you, they deliver you to the doctor, to the physician. Would that be like a private ordinatia? Uh, ordinatia is a word they use in Slovenian language for the, like, inside of the bureau, you know, it's called ordinatia. That's where the physician would, that's where physician would have his office, basically, in other words. So I like to use this example because it applies either to the general healthcare, right, providers, such as is Splash, like a general hospital, novel master, or a private clinic. As I stated, there were also private clinics, like the one that say in Lochna, etc., etc., like also the one over there at Shabetar, and so on and so forth. Yeah. Uh, how they do, how they did this stuff to me, uh, well, basically, they deliver you inside of the physician. These physicians, I told you there was a physicians, right? I did stress to you about how these physicians were involved since my early childhood that I had, that my sister pushed me one time from the SCARP in the city, uh, where we were still in the city house, in the house in the city, and I ended up with a with a school broken and uh, I told you about that, all that stuff, how it went, and how, even how the police, once I immigrated to the United States of America, contacted my physicians from the childhood and demanded from them to start falsifying original document, original a medical file. I told you about all these things. I told you about how the Slovenian physician female, uh, she really liked me and uh, she refused to follow uh, their, what police dictated, right? So you, you always have 100% or an empty outro, you always have a police officer right on the side. I, these people, what the fuck are they for if not to video record? They're not there to listen. This is they, they gather the documents. This is all archive, and they also supply this to their owners, basically, to their politicians, for the people that they violate the law for. You know, they love them so much that they violate the law. So basically, they deliver it to the physician. You go inside of this, or yeah, in English you can say ambulant. Yeah, ambulant is also what you could use for the translation of ordinatia. Um, in Slovenian language, so therefore this bureau office, and you will have a physician interacting with you. And I got a lot of these young physicians here from General Hospital Novel, man. so they would interact, and nurses, of course, with me. And he would state to you, you know, what is your problem and this and that, and you would have whoever delivered you to that location. You would have sometimes police officers, a different police officer waiting you on you, like they would deliver me for torture to the father at home for elderly people. That's how they would have you. They would wait on you at a certain location. You would not even see if you would follow me, let's say, if you would follow the source of crime, let's say the neighbor was taking me to the certain location, you would not even see the police officer anywhere. But you would see one as you would arrive to the destination. These police investigators literally were hiding themselves inside of this general hospital novel maestro. And as I would be delivered there, it would be this guy that it would be not only him, but it would be others also. They would greet him. It's like they wait for you to arrive there. And that's where they, they basically take you over. 
Uh, sometimes they took me personally to the office of the physician, ordinatio ambulanta, ambulant room, if you like, private ambulant room, or I should say office separated from the rest, uh, where you would have a physician and you would, with whom you would consent, and so that he would then direct you to a specialist services or other services, whatever he deemed would be necessary required for you to undergo. Uh, and he would ask you what it is. And before I would start, they don't actually want for you to say what you have. They don't want your brain to work. Maybe this is a point number one. They don't want your brain to work. They don't want you to tell them what your problem is. Oh, what they do is you either have if it was a police officer that went inside of you in this ordinatia ambulanta, or you would have a person explaining the one that delivered you, explaining exactly a type of the incident nature of the visit to the physician in front of the police officer. So you would have four people inside. Me, police officer, person who delivered you to the, and of course, physician. That's basically how it goes. Yeah, so physician then would in front of you interact with wherever. Uh, they would crack some crazy stuff that would rather pertain to various issues that, that would involve the environment prior to your visit and which they would want to use to drive you insane. That's called guest lighting, giving you some kind of crazy theories about, uh, you know, procedures that are, that are awaiting on you if you want to stay alive. And, well, before you would leave, or maybe during interaction with this physician, examiner, medical examiner, doctor, uh, he would stress in your face, basically, um, you have a medical insurance and you would have somebody, uh, either police officer or the guy who brought you, uh, ask you if you have a medical insurance and you would be answered, you would interact with them like this, you have okay, so this, you don't have nothing to fear you know, they work like on anxiety issues yeah accenting basically fear, you know you don't have to fear, you don't have to fear you don't have to fear, 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 fear but still yeah, this is okay, this is okay yeah, but still I would have to go uh yeah, I agree, you know, in that sense. Uh, I would have to contact, uh, you know, your uh, physician, which is all inside of the computer system, who, because you do have a file on, uh, open on mental illness-related issues, is a um, general question or basically what type of medications you take uh you know do you have do you have any kinds of all kind of whatever you have and once anyhow he said even if you would not tell me whatever it is once i would enter your name inside of the or social security number i should say inside of your system it would pop up that you are also uh listed at uh a psychiatrist and that's a very important issue so i would definitely have uh, them contact you, et cetera, et cetera, and that kind of stuff. So basically, this is how they apply the pressure. They apply the pressure on me as per uh, my not having the right to visit a physician. Simple as this. You know, what type of medical problems did I suffer from? I suffered from extremely, extremely serious medical problems, uh, which I believe brought me to a very edge of 
surviving this ordeal. I had uh, every time missed for millimeters what I think easily could turn into a certain death issues, such as bone cancer. I think that once you get a bone cancer, uh, as Joe Biden stated me, it's over with you. And the last issue that I managed to overcome was bone cancer. This was like as close, I hope I did, a call that I, 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 I did not get as close during MK Ultra when they were doing this stuff, and it did hurt. But a, a, a call as close I came to a bone cancer was this was this was incredible call I got. I got incredible I got incredible call from somebody that decides about just millimeters away. If I did, I don't know yet. We're gonna see about that stuff. But the hospital claimed that it was a lack of magnesium I had in the body. And uh, the fact of the matter is, well, a physician stressed me just a little bit. Everything is normal. Nothing is missing. It's just a little bit. The fact of the matter is that I started taking calcium. Um, I would say about like three weeks ago. And uh, I started to take one with a quite accelerated rate. And uh, I'm going to say that in my, especially in my left foot, between a knee and between um, ankles, between the foot, uh, the twitching, and never mind twitching, bones stopped hurting. You are talking about like bone cancer proximity to like millimeters under the circumstances if I explained. Uh, well, it started in the left arm, which always was uh, assigned as a cancer location from where the cancer would be spreading through the body. Yeah, and cancer would always travel uh, as the first would go straight to the left foot. I told you about the injuries they inflicted on me by jumping on my left foot repeatedly since my childhood. Uh, this year, uh, it was so painful that I could not at times even sleep from the pain. When it comes to the cancer, this is what they were doing repeatedly during MK Ultra to me, to degree that they would be even using a fishing pole for the pike fishing uh, and sitting inside of the car, uh, turning the wheel to the degree that I would, it was used literally to spread uh, the pain, a cancer issues onto the left side of the chest area near heart. This is how they were doing this stuff. But this stuff was done through through the poisoning, poisoning of the liver, I should say kidneys, through the kidneys, the liver system. And what I continually have disregarded was maybe the most dangerous part of the body. Um, actually, to finish this stuff, to the degree that I could not even, as they promised me, you're not going to be capable to even turn the wheels on the car. You will have to use car with the automatic transmission, and you will have to use the car with steering wheel that has a power steering wheel, basically assisted steering wheel, very, very light, easy to turn. And you will have to have what I was repeatedly brainwashed in MK Ultra. Also, a holder, uh, uh, arm rest, I should say. In English, it's arm rest on your left side. Yeah, but this is left is here. Right is here. 
I know you see it different in a laptop, but yeah, or I see it different, okay. Um, so, issue that I have not discussed about, yeah? So you think this is easy to get through with like four hours of sleep, something, I don't even know what that is. And that's the stuff that, that pertains to, I'm gonna get to that issue, yes? Um, the issue I have not even mentioned about, and it was the most dangerous issue of them all, was what triggered through <laughs> brainwash. And that was labeled to me during MK Ultra. everything, absolutely everything is a cancer, stuff that I have spoken about. To you. Even that this is not really a cancer, but is another kind of issue. Cancer and, another, and many other kinds of issues they developed during MK Ultra through what I refer to as a bestiality performed on a human being. And another issue, the most dangerous issue I have not reported about, it is injury on a bowel, on intestines, which was supported even, it wasn't only ice creams and stuff like this they were given, But it was a famous recipe from an American physician who was involved in MK Ultra. Um, you have already seen one right there, and who insisted, therefore, Dr. Mandel, who insisted that. So, who doesn't love bananas? Well, many of you may be thinking bananas from the fridge, uh, very good to go sleep. Eat. Now, as this yellow banana continues to ripen, we get all these types of darker spots. It becomes much softer. And yes, those starches are breaking down into even more sugar, making those bananas much sweeter. And it's commonly seen with ripe bananas because of its fiber, vitamins, minerals, phytonutrients. Use that in your banana breads, in your... <laughs> Uh, I listen to be good about this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so it, yeah, hi. Um, let me just see something here. Uh, I'm gonna tell you all about the cancer and stuff like this. Yeah, you, you better listen to me if you want to live, all right? Did you know that when your bananas ripen like this, don't throw them out? Uh huh. Uh, banana cinnamon uh, and uh, this is a specialty from a bed it's called a bedtime dessert uh, sleep fast deep uh, it's gonna help just keep rising and rising from my favorite desserts healthy dessert all <laughs> that um, And they tutor me. These are. Go to the store, get yourself a cheap banana at reduced price, freeze them inside of the fridge. This guy was here many times in this house, and I was at his home meeting his mom and everything. Uh, or I should say, at his place and at his mom's place, reserve guard, everything, you name it. Um, Listen very good. You don't want to do this kind of stuff if your life is dear to you. Um, if you do have a cancer, it's in frozen. <laughs> if you have a if you have a if you have a fan, uh, cancer, uh, cinnamon and the bananas is really one of the most stupid things to do because there is a reason why you have a cancer. And the reason when it comes to cancer always break downs, breaks down. The number one spot is kidneys. Then it's a liver. Then because of these two issues, especially a liver patients suffer reduced sleep. 
and the fucking bananas with the cinnamon, especially if bananas are frozen, are going to worsen your situation for a million times, potentially even giving you a cancer due to inflammation issues in your bowel, in your intestines, and you're going to have another fucking problem. And this is the stuff they were doing to me, having me eat frozen food, frozen bananas, stuff like this, like in excessive way, ice creams and so on, in a, in a very, very crazy excessive way. With cherries, canned cherries, Nothing but cherries for two or three days straight, making my bowl rotten, using a cabbage, zelia. I don't know if I did properly translate this. With plenty of acid, doing the same thing, a rottening bowl, intestines, using excessive amounts of garlic and C vitamin, basically causing, using all kinds of issues that otherwise you would use to fight even cancer and improve your resistance, immunity in your body, such as C vitamin, let's say, to cause damage on both. And they made one cancerous enough to get me literally killed. And so, which one of these issues was present they made so much of a difference that's why i said don't do that kind of stuff if you do have a cancer especially you want to avoid absolutely everything that is sweet i love sweet you do want to go on a completely sugar-free diet if it's only possible if you do have a cancer you don't want to get into especially the ripe bananas. The healthy bananas are actually semi-green. Just the fresh bananas is what you really want on your diet. And you don't want any kind of frozen food, actually. You don't want to do this. While cinnamon helps, it will help you only if you take one occasionally. Preferably, if you're doing something stupid, maybe it's when you would go and use food that you shouldn't eat, really. It, the best thing is not to eat, is when you would go resort yourself to turmeric and to the cinnamon. Because as you use this like on a daily basis, it will reduce your life expectancy, actually effectiveness of what otherwise could be effective greatly, because the cancer cells also get used to that stuff. There is all kinds of theories that they suggest mutation of the cells uh, when you continue to use. I don't really know what happens, but I know that anything that's being used excessively will cause damage to you. And anything that is being used in a daily menu diet, uh, if your situation is worsening, that means that that stuff is no longer is of any help to you, even if otherwise would be of help to you. So I suggest you to maintain yourself, if you do have a cancer, with a diet that will also always give you the opportunity to improve one with the use of things such as garlic, turmeric, and cinnamon, if you want to know about the cancer. That's how I outline, that's what I learned from my, based on my own experience I have gone through. The examination that was given to me, so the worst one that I had was in a bowel, intestines. Maybe the only thing that was worse, even worse than that, and I don't know that yet, was on my right side in this area here, which actually can be even seen which was also indicated as a 
uh, well, is it a cancer gland, whatever is out there? Um, laringolo, whatever. Otorino laringolo. That kind of stuff is the stuff that was done to me. They successfully managed to spread to me throughout the body. Warning, however, me when sleeping next to me, talking about the police investigators, literally, not only about the pillow, like fucking saying to me that I sleep with my neck literally on the pillow. I was criticized for sleeping the way I had the fucking pillow, because the way I sleep, rest my head on the pillow, which is fucking insane. Because you, if you're half normal, you, you, there's no other way you can possibly use one. But this is the kind of a critiques I got from the police. After they have caused me serious injuries with the psychiatric medications in 2013, disabling me from even sleeping on the right side, uh, excuse me, on the left side of the, you know, leaning on the left side during the sleep. Because it would put heart under those medication, those psychiatric stuff they used, whatever they used. I wonder if it was even medications. Probably there were medications, but if you have injured liver and uh, kidneys, uh, it's 100 percent those medications will have a totally different effect on you if you understand me what i'm saying somebody who has a healthy liver and kidneys will have totally different effect without totally differently from somebody who have injured livers and kidneys the stuff that was done to me those psychiatric pills is fucking unexplainable because the nurses who claimed me and they claimed me this because they observed the pain, the suffering in me, the internal suffering, literally oil dripping from the scalp of my hair, for which they claim they don't ever say that, that that is possible for the oil to drip from your scalp because uh, you will be rated as insane. It can only be sweat. Well, clearly it was oil. Clearly it was oil that was coming out of the scalp due to pain due to injuries, due to pain, due to suffering. So that's a whole a lot, yeah. Saliva just running out of my mouth and my very moving jaws, basically what psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Slovenian police, who was involved in this butchery, barbarism, bestiality, was even laughing about, citing that I am already displaying the same kind of signs as to the people that suffered strokes well it was funny to them the people suffering strokes you go to the same category as your father on whom they were playing with well here's the deal my father have undergo real torture serious torture during mk ultra they were playing with this kind of stuff given one symptoms exactly identical to stroke and then they were rehabilitating him and claiming him even, they saved his life and stuff like this. How he has to suggest to me on why do I think that father lived already so long, that he should already die a long time ago if it was in under normal circumstances. Police and psychiatrists captured insisted me that he lives for so long because he spends every year two, three months, two months inside of the hospital on the side at the home for elderly people. This is what they were brainwashing me with. So that I should even see this as a benefit to him, as a help to him. That's killing basically of my own father. They demanded for me to see as an assistance, as a help, as a prolonged life of father. It's actually really good for you to lay down in the bed and become a plant if you are 91 years old, 92. This is what Slovenian police demanded from me. And then you fucking tell me that these are people. The last thing that Slovenian investigator in 2018 started to talk to me about was to be careful 
with this thing here, with a cancer here in this gland, because it likes to go to the brain. <laughs> so, and go and figure out how was this stuff, what exactly have I gone through, how I actually survived this stuff. But when I say to you, what I mentioned to you, how the cancer spread into all these areas, and how I managed to overcome this stuff, it's a video I am going to reserve two hours separately with depicting you the stuff they have used, all kinds of stuff, and shoes and all kinds of stuff to, to agitate food and it's all kinds of stuff they would set me up with so that I would get myself in a trap and trigger those old injuries that they were working on during MK Ultra. So they would accelerate, they would have complete control over the damage they caused to my body. And then basically play, you know, maintain your life and play with you and stagnate you down toward disaster, like a plane down. Yeah, that's basically what they wanted literally involved poisoning issues like real fucking poisoning that from here where i am at i barely made it one time down to the father's room to lay down basically because it was gonna explode in my kidneys and my liver and absolutely everything some kind of a creme schnitter that mother brought home and so on and so forth that she alone also was sick According to MK Ultra scenario, all according to MK Ultra scenario. Um, the stuff I have gone through, it's quite remarkable that I managed to somehow get through. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to get a bone cancer or not, if I got one. Uh, I know for a fact that the twitching I told you about, my general health already was so bad that at one time, I semi lost conscience. I would get up and become completely disoriented without capacity to stay on two legs. Um, I told you this happened in 2021. Uh, literally holding myself for, you know, slam against the floor with my head too, but it could be worse took me 20 minutes to collect myself together and go. I did not understand anything they were talking to me about during MKUltra, and I possibly could not believe with a super health I had, it feels like yesterday, uh, before I started, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, possibly understand, basically, then I started to revive the memories on uh, literally on the torture. And this is what this shit was all about. It was most of the time, this is what this was. This MK Ultra was really nothing other than what I stated. This is unbelievable stuff. Uh, if you do have a cancer, you must take calcium with D vitamin and you also should take magnesium ensure that you do have magnesium so that you would not you would re re uh, basically reduce the possibility of it's not this shit is not about the twitching folks this is about uh, creating yourself maybe even anemia-like problems, problems with inflammation in your body that become hotspot for a cancer that you already have. And it's something that will create a new location that will continue to persist uh, in your body, which you're going to have to, it's going to be difficult to get rid of, if ever. Because it's, it, it, it turns out over the course of the time into the permanent injury. And this is what they were doing on me. So this is not easy stuff. And there is no fucking banana with a cinnamon. When you have a problem with a liver and with a kidney, that will save you a slip. 
this isn't going to fucking happen. But it will cause you a real serious damage. It's better to play safe than be sorry, folks. Um, what does help me is by only drinking hot water. That's what they, once they would poison me with a cancer, contaminate my body completely with a the cancer, they would maintain me with a hot water only. And were even asking me, what kind of a water do you drink? Hot water. Yeah, hot water. This is the real story about this case. And it's not the scare, health scare, but it's a real terrorism. It's a real terror. Unfortunately, Slovenian physicians, criminals, criminals, these are not physicians, these are not doctors, these are not physicians, these are murderers, assassins, even used brainwashing lies during the hiking trips they would go. Police would use them to take me on a hiking trail and so on and talk to me about these issues. They misused in as many possible ways against me as possible using laws and absolutely everything to stall me from visitations to a regular physician to ask, to inquire about my uh, health status. So how the fuck do you like this story? Uh, they have hidden themselves, I was going to finish this, literally behind British and Americans who visited this and who guaranteed them nothing to worry about criminal genocide, not criminal, fuck you, genocide procedures against me. Worry-free, guaranteed, no fucking problem. U.S. government see not, British government see not. Strasbourg knows not, see not, hears not. Fuck him good, all right? Pay to the police to get him killed, okay? Huh? Ursula von der Leyen, European Union Commission, boss, and others. European human rights ombudsman, old story, crime story, people at the United Nations. Using me for all sorts of issues and choking me, killing me all the way, pushing me down into the grave as fast as possible. Read me. This is my story, this is my real story. And when you get four hours of sleep, and even during those four hours of sleep, you're gonna have this sound, shh, like you're next to the waterfall, ha, ha, ha. They were laughing to me. And you get up and you're beaten up. It used to be time in Poland, I remember, when I had a spine injury so bad that I had to go to work. Lifting these boxes. And I needed one hour to get myself together because of the pain in my spine. Over the course of the time, it was a lack of sleep that have substituted that pain from which, however, I have managed to somewhat, somehow, recuperate myself enough to function by also using a strap around my waist, which is extremely unhealthy, and it what was also used during MKUltra. According to MKUltra, the reason why they destroy me or the personal belongings, to carry my backpack, to move freely around, basically, at least somehow, with this limited ability exercise. Well, this, this, this shit, this is my story. It's good. It's easy. It becomes easy once you at least figure out what the fuck they have done to you. Something they were laughing to me said, it's worse than if we send you to the Stone Age. There's, they stated to me, we don't fear what you're going to do to us because there's nothing anywhere even near as that you can do to us as to what we have done to you with always giving a checkmark book from the body and for every new organ, for every new part of the body, gland, whatever it was, they contaminated, they, cre they created a cancer spot, hot spot, they would do the question mark and the next time 
they would repeat with first with the poison thing also also the new dot that they open they would place second check mark and then third check mark and fifth and ten a hundred and so on this is how the police investigators did this work if you like it that you know how they did what the fuck london the buckingham palace the british royals literally financed paid money for berlin what berlin financed what washington dc financed who hijacked me literally from united states of america so they could deliver me here so they could butcher me that's all i gotta say about this kind of stuff if you like this kind of life if you like this kind of medical services if you like the western world which i have addressed today donkey is anus god then i don't have anything else i would say to you since this is a video about a psychiatry however i would love nothing more than skin strip these people in front of the police station something they have suggested me during mk ultra actually i would want these people to suffer unbearably for the stuff they did to me because they're not people they're not animals they're humans they're beasts there is nothing human about them they are beasts beasts as you get beast there's nothing human it's a human shit. i'm talking to you joe biden i'm talking to you donald trump I'm talking to you, the people in the U.S. Congress who made this shit possible. People at FBI, at the CIA, who made this shit possible. What is in it for you? Why, why this kind of stuff? Why so much hatred? Why so much violence at the German Bundestag? At the British House? Why so much hatred? What is it with you? What... What have I done to you? What exactly happened? What is it? What was my crime? What exactly was my crime? What, what is it that, that I cost to you so much that you had to follow this kind of a murderous protocol? Because I am American citizen. You did not have to deliver me here anymore. I did immigrate to the United States of America. You do understand what you did by delivering me here, to this beast here. And I literally have escaped from. That's all I gotta say in respect to this video. This boy on Zoller, this, this guy, um, I, I, can, I can't fucking wait anymore that I submit this to the police and that we meet in the person. You know, they, they compared my ordeal with a man who had the iron mask over his face. This fucking German drama, you know, this think tank this university is throughout the Germany and all this that Angela Merkel, you know, shared with, you know, all this big Western think tank. But, you know, these people always are in a search of irony, of that outcome. They depict drama as a comedy, but people always get murdered, killed left and right. They destroyed my family and uh, they annihilated my life <laughs> this this is the only thank you i can give you this will complete for me the video
from about Slovenian government website on uh, my rights as per the way they have interpreted them to me. Therefore, the Slovenian police, Slovenian physicians, with Slovenian politicians such as Robert Golob and others on how I should see on basically on how I should see myself as within this uh, Slovenian healthcare system on how I should pursue this this whole thing as what I should be uh, it wasn't about only general hospital it wasn't about only general hospital uh, where the physicians would intimidate me that threatened me basically if I would be searching a health assistance uh, what they would trigger against me uh, it was about the police gangster, a criminal, a butcher uh, whom Slovenian police have meet me at the police station when I came at the police station about a year and a half ago to request the right to father's medical files. Uh, it was that at the police station, the gangsters at the police station alone have intimidated not only at the police station, but also next door, everywhere, wherever I would go, at the court and so on, they instigated, intimidated with uh, how uh, if they would open a criminal file, a criminal, uh, if I would require from them assistance, uh, it definitely would also trigger the uh, involvement of the psychiatric uh, profession, if I would mention to them MK Ultra, if I would mention to them anything in, in respect to MK Ultra, uh, or even uh, for saying something that somebody's doing to father, they would definitely go and open uh, a docket, uh, see on my health, mental health, uh, and then request psychiatric services against me. So. It was all coordinated together with the Slovenian police, uh, with the general hospital novelist or dentists, absolutely in every aspect of life, not going, even going to go into neighbors here in the village, the people, so many people, entire city involved in it and beyond. Uh, mainstream media also, absolutely on every step of the way. They used absolutely every possibility, basically, to compel me, literally compel me to, to get murdered, basically, to get killed, literally, to the issues I stated. The pain in this part of the part of the uh, just below the knee and all the way down, was so excessive that... Um, I, I could not walk, and it felt like it's becoming like a sh like a razor sharp. The whole thing. Um, it it I felt that this is just a matter of time. I just didn't know what the fuck to do, how to what what to do with it. Um, this was not the magnesium. This shit was a calcium. Body was. They did not report to me at the hospital that it was actually a calcium that was in a chronic state, lack. The body was totally depending on a calcium, basically, that, that is going to explode, basically, in a cancer, completely. Bone cancer, I'm talking about, if not on time, uh, rehabilitated with a calcium. So I started to take calcium uh, and also magnesium, uh, but it's really calcium that makes the difference. Uh, magnesium, I did not even take magnesium really. I mostly relied on the C vitamin and once uh, magnesium didn't even make any kind of difference. Uh, we have a Kidney and liver problem, your best medication is a good amount of water before you go to sleep. It's going to give you, when you're tired, 
is going to assist you. If you do a walk, make sure that after one kilometer, two kilometers maximum that you make, that you sit on some bench and slowly that you sip at least half a liter of water in your body and sit, give your body time to process that properly, to rinse your kidney, your liver, uh, and then continue with your walk. And you will see eventually that with over the course of the time, your health eventually will start to improve itself because you help the system to, um, which is not properly cleaning, to clean itself more efficiently. And thus you will not suffer poisoning. Uh, or in other words, expose your body to the cancerous uh, effect, basically the injured parts otherwise that are sensitive to the poisoning, open them also for the possibility of inhabiting them with a cancer and so on. This would be my best bet, yes? So after two kilometers, once you eat, sit for at least another 10 minutes or so. The number one advice I would give you, drink water, drink at least half a liter of water before you go eat. Eat, if only possible, eat liquid. As much as possible liquid. That's not possible, of course not, but um, whatever that you're going to eat, try to reduce sweets. Once you're done eating, go walk. Stop after two kilometers, sit in the chair, on a bench, whatever. Take five or even ten minutes on that bench and process as much water as possible. At least half a liter, do it. Slowly do it. So give ability your body to replenish itself with the water. That way your body will clean its, cleans itself, run more efficiently, basically, as you put the strain to it. And then proceed with a walk. These are basically the best advice I can give you. If you have a cancer-wise, any kind of health-wise related to the stuff that I have spoken about issues. And make sure that if it happens so that you do this in the winter time when it's cold, that you grab your, I'm going to use this, and let's suppose that this is a bottle, water bottle. Make sure you put this between your second shirt and first shirt inside. And you keep this with your, like this, with your sweater on like this all the time. Close that water. So the water bottle is warm. Always drink warm. Make sure that you always drink warm. Do not, you're not going to be able to take this in a thermo with you. You do it as well as mine in a bottle. And you stick that bottle between two shirts, as I stated. It's going to stick in there. Cover that with your jacket, whatever it is. So it's always the, your body temperature that keeps that bottle warm. So that when you stop and you you consume that water, it's always warm water. Preferably, if you have ability and it's not inside of the city, do your walks around your home and every here and there come back and sit and drink warm and so on and so forth and go back. I'm afraid that's not going to be very productive because usually then we find something else to do and we don't pursue what we originally have assigned ourselves. So do your best. I wish you the best wherever it is that you are, whatever it is that you do. And these are real advices I think that you should follow for you to make sense out of it. As for everything else, I don't know. Now, I'm not going to even say to you that you must not consume any kind of sweets, whatever it is. Um, but I will say to you that if you do consume chocolates, it's the worst kind of food. Uh, chocolates are the worst kind of food because they do really reset computer in our system. They open 
all kinds of needs in our brain uh, for the stuff that we otherwise would not contemplate on. Talking about more sweets, more cookies, and all kinds of stuff like that, they will start to circulate in your head if you will be doing this stuff. And it's going to take longer, longer, longer time for you to get back on a normal track if you will be capable at all. So that's why the chocolates are no good. Milk, they say, is full of the hormones. That kind of stuff is no good. It's something they insisted me that I have uh, kidney cysts. I don't actually know anything about this. Maybe, maybe I do, maybe I do not. Um, I don't know why the urine is so red. It's the urine became much, much better now. Uh, the, 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 my urine already looks now like something like this. It's not clean, but it's much, much better than when compared to what it was in the past. If you already followed my advice throughout the video, um, you should be okay. That's what I think. And yes, publishing this on the internet and then I'm gonna go for an exercise walk, the stuff that I have to do. I wish the best of you, to uh, the best of, to every one of you, whatever it is that you are, whatever it is that you do. This is basically the procedure. Thanks for watching this video till next time.